What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right, so we already got Zenyu versus Vladin, and Vladin with his Mario was looking so good, but does not want to face against the Mario Dido. Zenyu already showing off that he wins those, but Lucina can actually give Mario some trouble. Yeah, Vladin, a person who knows Mario very well, of course, plays him as a secondary and has so much experience against both Zenyu and Master Mario in bracket, so the matchup should be familiar with, with him. Uh, but Zenyu con confirms. It's also that Mario really struggles against these sword matchups, and Lucina definitely one that can really punish Mario and these areas, but you can't do that Dolphin Slash in front of Mario's face and eats up with that combo. So good, catching out the tech as well. Looking so good, so much damage coming in, and the roll away into that grab. He tried to use the down smash to catch it, but unable to find anything. Yeah, Mario can be outspaced, especially in these sorty matchups, but when he does manage to get in, when he does get a throw to start one of these combos, look out, he can easily pile 60, 70, 80% damage in just one combo. Yeah, and he's looking for these back airs, trying to land something down. Gets the, gets the sour spot actually doesn't get the strong part but he's looking for something right now this is really good play we're seeing Vladin he's slowly retreating away great parry but that's not what the option he wanted he definitely didn't want that fireball yeah it doesn't capitalize off of the perfect shield and all of a sudden Zenyu now has center stage misses for the up smash but he still has the offensive Using that jab, the one-two jab into the grab. Thankfully, he didn't finish it. Vladin was waiting for the third hit. He's looking for the aerial to catch it out, but unable to find it. Both them holding shield. We're looking like Smash 4 neutral right now. Dash attack, mistimes it, and he will eat a small punish for the recovery from Vladin. Misses with a fair, but not too far away. Spot dodges that one as well. And now Vladin is grabbed. Yeah. Doesn't quite get it. Good DI to the corner. And the flood unable to catch it as well. Vladin. Got some space to breathe in, but he's looking really rough at the moment. And that grab, the fourth throw, unable to take it just yet, Charges but it does force him. He forced him into a really uncomfortable position, but then finally the back air does take it. Yeah, good instant guard. Good awareness from Zenyu, just was facing backwards for so long and finally gonna oh, get rewarded. Great but counter. the great counter from Vladin, instant response. Just says, anything you can do, I can do better. And falls right into the double edge dance as well. Yeah, doing so well. Un unable to find that F tilt confirmed into that back air. So looking for something right now. Look at this sword. It perfectly shows what this matchup's made out of. And if Aladdin's able to space out Mario using these swords, then Zenyu's gonna have a really hard time finding his way in. Try to read out the aerial, but unable to find an option. Constantly forced to this corner, but finally finds his way in using that confirmation. The up tilt landing, including the down air. Unable to take it just yet but it's looking so good right now. Yeah, barely misses with a fair and just approaches with an arrow as well. You can see he wants some of these options. He wants to get the Latin off stage as badly as he can, but these platforms are just getting in his way. He's unable to find an opening, but great grab. No back here. He tried to do a turnaround, but isn't able to find it. Great tech to avoid that tech setup, that uh, missed tech setup. He's unable to find it, and great use of the, the fireball. Zen, you definitely need to throw a lot of them. Unable to get it. That dash grab actually made him cross the shield because he was crossing up because he was spot dodging. And great job on the grab. Unable to kill him just yet. Great DI coming in from Vladin. See the sparks, and we see an attempted ledge trump from Zenyu, but not quite going to be able to get the kill. And now Vladin has Zenyu off stage. Goes to the down tilt and misses the two frames. Looking so good. Here comes the grab once more. The sparks coming in, but unable to find it. That back, that back throw is staled out a little bit now, so he needs to be a little careful throwing it out. These back airs are so good and catches it out. This will finally kill, though. Yeah, just about time. That back throw was getting a bit stale, but even at that high percent, there's nothing a character as light as Lucina can do about it. Aladdin now going to have to finish this one a stock down, but good down air misses the up air conversion. Still looking okay for being down to stock, but these nares are gonna have to find a way to actually hit something. Yep, and he's gonna go ahead and try to find a way back onto the stage. 19% here come the grab. What combo can he get out of it? These up air strings, 46%. Vladin needs to be careful. Mario with range is so terrifying, especially with a guy like Zenyu baiting out these aerials. Here He's comes another ladder. It. He doesn't able to find it, but that grab baits it out. Great job, Vladin is able to get away with it. 70% on him though. Yeah, good spot dodge up tilt. Vladin now has the grueling task of just trying to play a, in a deficit against a Mario player because Mario can just sit back, charge flood, throw out some of these fireballs, take as many trades as he wants. And if he even gets one ladder combo, it could mean the end of the game. Uh, and it's not just any Mario player. This is Zenyu, after all. One of the best Marios in the world. 
He needs to find some way to get in though. He's using these backers. He's really spacing it. He knows that he's adding this. He knows he's adding advantage. He's forcing Vladin to make a move and slowly pushing forward with his shield, knowing that Vladin's gonna go in and space him out. That Nair catches him out. What's the option? He gets the back air. Is this it? It is not. Vladin knows his win condition. Good down tilt scoop at the ledge, but no, not quite yet. Uh -huh. Nair takes him onto the platforms and he tech chases once more. He has his back turned. You can tell what he wants. Mm -hmm. He wasn't too close to the ledge yet, so he wasn't able to get that grab. But Vladin trying to find his way in. The reverse up smash trying to be pulled out. The tech does the neutral get up. A very uncommon option, but it worked in that scenario. He go up for the shield break knowing that Zenyu is holding it on for a while, but the jab forcing him off stage. What's the option he gets gonna get? Can he read it? And the back air trying to be used. That grab from Vladin is gonna whiff immediately. Yeah, Baladin playing as if he knows his win condition. He knows he has to outspace Mario in neutral and capitalize off of these nares and these random end hits. Mm -hmm. But the end of the flood gets them into a back air, and now he has to recover against this barrage of fireballs and floods. Mm -hmm. And Zenyu is doing a, such a good job pressuring him. Another neutral get up. He can't grab onto the ledge again. And Zenyu knows it. Gonna Trade. force him off. Trades with the back air, and now Zenyu has him has center stage, but misses the nair into the shield. Backflipping a couple times. Yeah, great job by Vladin using it, but the down smash finally catches it out. What a patient match coming in from them. A minute, 32 seconds left on the clock, showing how well it is, but Zenyu knows that if he plays too impatient, Vladin can easily kill him. Yeah, Zenyu has an infinite well of patience. You could tell he just didn't, you know, uh, he was comfortable going for some of these back airs instead of trying to go off stage and end it prematurely. But Vladin. You know, there's a lot of positives you can take from that if you're Vladin. Just know that, you know, this isn't the end of the world. I lost a few trades. I got a bit unlucky in neutral. I perhaps ran into a couple of fireballs I shouldn't have. There is a game plan for him. It's just so tough to operate when Zenyu's in the building. Good down throw from Vladin to start this off. He has an early disadvantage and gets him onto the platform. Gets him right off the platform as and well. And we're seeing exactly what the problem is with the Mario versus Sword matchup. He's able to get these conversions off 85% already with 20 seconds into the match. But once Mario finds his way in, he went for the cape. Zenyu, he almost got it. That would have been disastrous for Vladin. Yeah, he wanted the low percent kill, especially down 85, 90%. Just realizes I might have to go for the riskier option. He gets, he gets a nice back air, but Vladin. Understanding that Mario in disadvantage is really hard to deal with. He's throwing out these fireballs, knowing he needs to find his way in. Zenyu crossing him up over and over again with these back airs. He's gonna get the grab as well. He doesn't land the platform, but the back air misses and gets punished immediately by Vladim with that back air. This is looking so good for Vladim right now. He's gotta keep this lead. Yeah, yeah. Capitalized off of the reversal of fortune and Zenyu. Just playing like nothing ever happened, although that's gonna be a bit of a detriment to his percent. Good double edge dance from, or excuse me, uh, Dancing Blade from Lucina. He's able to get away with it. Delays it, but that shield break. What's the punish? It's, it's gonna not be gonna another kill. shield breaker. It it's is gonna, gonna kill. kill. It's Smashville after all. So that's excellent coming from Vladin. Does take that stock just like that. With a three stock, with a two stock advantage, he's got to make the best out of this, making sure that Zenyu doesn't get anything out of it. But for Zenyu, this is such a huge disadvantage coming in. He's yeah. been holding onto that shield, and finally SD is on that stock, so he's going to move on to the next match. Yeah, Zenyu, as good as a player as he is, SoCal PR, one of the top Marios in the United States, but he was just shaken by a couple of early mistakes and just played a bit more conservatively when he didn't need to. And Bad air dodge off stage, gonna lead to a three stock in game two. So moving on to game number three. Zenyu resetting mentality, so knowing exactly what he needs to do now. He can't let his stocks be taken and he can't let Vladin push that advantage so hard. But right away we see another dancing blade from Lucina. Vladin knows that if he can operate the same game plan from game two, don't let Mario get in. Up and he's finally able to that remember Zenyu likes to land with those nares a lot, so he's able to trade, which really benefits Vladin in the long run. He's trying to find his way in, and he, here we go, catches him out with the up tilt, but that dolphin slash getting him out of that situation. Vladin looking so good right now, catches him with the start of another ladder combo, but doesn't quite get more than three. You can tell on a stage like this, he probably needs about five or six before he can even think about going for a kill option up B. Mm -hmm. Great patience to get back on the stage. That fireball's gonna catch up, leading into that nair confirm. 
but he's gonna be fine. He loses the direction of air dodge to get him out of that bad situation. The F will check that shield, make sure that it's still running. But the yeah, 148 percent for Zenyu has to play a bit testy here. But it also is just his Mario Rage. An up smash could probably kill the Latin if he isn't too careful. He went for that F smash, unable to find anything out of it, but the Dolphin Slash actually was able to catch it out. Yeah, grounded Dolphin Slash, a much better up B, up, excuse me, out of shield option than you might think, especially in a matchup where you don't have the range to avoid it. And he's able to get out of it right now. Dancing Blade used once more into the conversion. Unable to find anything out of it, though. So Valadin, such a good lead right now, is looking to extend it out. Yeah, good returning air. Dances around some of these fireballs, but right into the grab, and now charges the flood off stage. Mm -hmm. He's looking for an option right now. What do we see? That fair from Lucina, though, is able to get it out. That up smash going to get punished immediately. Zenyu's looking for it. He knows he can't let the stock go on for long. That forward throw, though, that back air conversion as well. Zenyu in a lot of trouble. He's able to recover, thankfully, though. Yeah, only at 81%, but the up smash from Zenyu closing it out before things get too out of hand. Still hasn't quite the deficit to make up, but if he can get some of these ladder combos started, that might work in his favor. Gets the uppy. Good DI from Valadin. It wasn't going to kill just yet. 35% already, but that up, up air catches out. He's looking for the second one, but then look, Zenyu recovers. Oh, my chest tightened a little bit when he was off stage. I thought he was able to up out of it, but great Dolphin Slash to get out of it situation. Great usage of the recovery, making sure to get out of it. Yeah, the get up attack from Valadin, but going to fall victim once again. Another up Good DI to the corner. He's not going to die to though. It's really, it's it's such a, it does it doesn't kill. It's a better kill option in this game, but it's still not going to kill just yet, especially even though with rage. Yeah, but you do have to be caught off guard to die anywhere early to a point where like an up air would kill you. Mm -hmm. So he's able to get out of that situation. Went for the wave dash, but look at that F tilt coming in from Valadin. Such a good move. It's spacing out Zenyu so hard. He's finding his win. He went for the fair actually. Yeah, I didn't know if he was going for the ledge trump there, but. Either way, Zenyu now has stage control, although he relinquishes it almost immediately. And immediately loses it. He's trying to use that down smash. He's looking for an option right now. He's the cave to delay his recovery. He's going to be fine jumping out from the ledge, but he's fine as well. He's looking for an option to get away out of that and trying to get out of it. Great uses of the tech. The up throw is not going to kill just yet. Great DI from Zenyu. And that is one of Lucina's few weaknesses. No kill throws up below 200%. Oh my god, he caught it out with that hard read. Senyu, incredible stuff by him. He's going to get killed by the Dolphin Slash, but both of them at 0%. Yeah, oh. I, when you're behind, those are the types of plays you have to make. Just go for the risky play. There's no nothing to lose and everything to gain. He's went for it as well, using that up air. I love how quick Zenyu is to use those up airs right before he uh, lands. It's such a good move that catches opponents off guard, especially like Valadin, and, and he's going to get the up, up tilt, straight, no, up air strings into that back air, and he misses the dancing blade. I'm flubbing with reds right now because I'm seeing this combos happen right before my eyes. Yeah, Valadin in a blink, already above 100% on his final stock, has to play a bit more cautiously, runs away, but goes for the nair as well. Now he can push the advantage a little bit. Mm -hmm. These F tilts, I love seeing the F tilts coming right now, but this time he put himself in the corner, but immediately he gets out, catching out the jumps as well. That Fibro is going to clank with that sword, but it's not enough just yet. Falling the fair, and the Dancing Blade will put him in a bit of a percent lead, but has to capitalize it, perhaps find an early F smash, an up tilt, something to get something started. Needs to find an option to get out of this. F tilt is so good. He went for the shield breakers, and he's got to be aware of it. A shield broken at this percent is surely spelling death. Oh, catches him with a fireball, but he did conserve his jump. Zenyu has been facing backwards for what looks like the past 20 seconds. Has to be for a long time. Has one option in oh. mind. He's going to be fine. He wasn't unable to catch the roll. Look at Zenyu. He's holding shield so much. He's going for a grab. Spot dodges, and Zenyu just rolling around. Still facing backwards. Rolls around. Back throw. Unable to take it just yet. He's looking for the back air. Oh my god, he was forced in the tech situation. Was unable to find it. He went so deep for it. Just oh. missed the tech. Had so much time to react and just was unable to do so. Zenyu all of a sudden a game down to Valadin. And Valadin has had so much practice with this matchup recently. Knows what he has to do. Zenyu probably not going to switch away, but does switch costumes. You can tell every time Zenyu switches costumes, it's his attempt at perhaps a switch of mentality. Whenever he loses, I'm playing differently. It's a sign to himself. All of a sudden, game four, the same stage, just switching the game plan, not the floor plan. 
and finally catching up with the last part of the Dolphin Slash. Here's one more, but here we go. Up throw into that downer staple combo. 33% already on that board. Mario, uh, he's got he's got these combos. He just needs to find a way in. We keep saying that over and over because that's Zenyu's game plan. He just needs to find that one opening and he's able to get these combos down. Yeah, but that's a big if and a big ask for someone like the Latin. He can really just stuff you out if necessary in the grab, just showing his dominance. Mm -hmm, but that roll away is able to get away with it barely. And a lot of rolls coming in. Vladin knows that he can't get grabbed. And speaking of that, here we go. Zenyu catches up with that grab. Oh, he read the roll, but and the shield And another break. shield break. The second one of the set pushes him off stage. If the first one killed at 40, that one's going to kill at 60. Zenyu already down to stock within a minute. I mean, the, the worst part about that situation is that... Zenyu has to shield to approach because this is a sword character. Absolutely. It's a classic damned if you do, damned if you don't. And Zenyu just picks the don't oh, option. Bad mistake coming in from Vladin. Oh, that could mean everything in this set. Because remember, Vladin just needs to win one more game. And Zenyu could have taken full advantage of that mistake, trying to find his way in on these spaced fairs. These aerials from Vladin are so well done. Zenyu's finding a hard time to find his way in and uses the flood to buy some space on that shield. Yeah, he did not have a jump, but the Dolphin Slash spaced well enough to clip directly back to the ledge. Now Zenyu reaches in with Tornado and gets him, uh, extends the platform. Another up air combo Here and another up strings. air string. Unable to find an upbeat to finish it off the job, but 80% is looking so good. Zenyu really capitalizing on that big mistake that Vladin made. He's looking for an opportunity right now, using these backers, finding clips him off stage, but unable to press that advantage that he had because of that trade. Yeah, small trade leading to a reset into neutral, but good recovery from Vladin. He misses the tech, but Zenyu recovers almost instantly, and he's facing backwards once again. And that Nair can buy him off that stage. He's going to be doing just fine, looking for these spot dodges, and that backer to space it out. If you miss an aerial as Lucina, you will get punished, though. That is one of the big advantage disadvantages of her. Her aerials are so good, but one miss basically the mistake, but great read on that tech. Yeah, excellent. Just techs in place, and Vladin was all over that. He could tell Zenyu just gathered data from the first time, didn't want to roll in or roll out. And that was something Vladin had in the back of his mind and pulled it out at the exact right moment. And Zenyu looking for an up smash. He knows that Vladin likes to hold shield right in front of him, so he's going to go ahead for that grab. Immediately looking for something. A backer at this percent, at this part of the stage, will kill for the jab. It's the least, it's the least punish that could have happened, but it's the safest and great, great usage of that parry but only able to find anything out of it. Dancing Blade doesn't get punished just yet. He thought he was going to go for the one-two instead of holding it down. Yeah, excellent delay from Vlad and got Zenyu to drop his shield. And those types of mind games can really just lead to good interactions in the future. Because right now, all Vlad do needs to away, but thankfully Zenyu closes out the stock. Yeah, excellent raw back air from Zenyu. Only 19% down and already starting to make half of it up. So well, and here it comes the Nair. One Zenyu finds a way in. Good Dolphin Slash. Eventually, some point, Zenyu will be baiting it out, but on him to find it just yet. These perfectly spaced bears from Lucina are causing Zenyu so much trouble. The bear as well, he's able to directional air dodge back in. He's trying to find a way in, but unable to find it. Yeah, he's been unable to touch his feet on the stage for about 20 seconds. He finally gets on, but what's the option? Try to use it. Here it comes. Can he get the Zenyu combo? And we've been looking for. He's got it, Zenyu spikes him off the stage, Lucina is going to have to look at that defeat screen, Mario takes it up and we're moving on to game number 5. Yeah, they call it the fair, but it's looking like an unfair right now for Zenyu, getting him off stage and down to the blast zone at only 50% and it's something he loves and he will utilize as much and as often as he's afforded the opportunity. Oh my god, it, it was just, it was crazy. I, I even said it, like the Zenyu combo was coming out. As soon as I saw an edge of the stage, I was like, oh, is he going to hit him with that up air, up air fair? And that's exactly what happens. Yeah, that quick one, two, three will bring us to a game five. All square in winner's semis, a date in winner's finals on the line. Once again, the same stage. I don't think either player just looked at the stage and looked at some of these platform traps as perhaps the issue in this matchup that led directly to any losses. 
It's just that these mental errors and these small miscalculations can be so costly. Mm -hmm. And great usage of Zenyu to bait out that aerial. He's getting the strings. Can he finish up with the up B? He does it in the other direction and ends the stock just like that. Yeah, only 84%, but that's still kill percent for Mario's up special when you get him that close to the ledge, and that's the first time he's converted on this, this entire set. And he also did a DI mix-up. He was moving in this direction. He actually moved to the left, but he up to the right in the opposite direction, so that could have potentially killed him as well. Right, you do have to read your opponent's movement laterally if you do want to go for those up-air combos, but Zenyu, of course, a master of that. He knows what Vladimir was go for, and he had four games worth of data to pull from. He's able to get out of it. Instead of aggressively jumping forward, he, he defensively jumps back in order to get away from it. Good and approaching that fair. fair. Oh, that Dolphin Slash clips him out, though, and he's going to use that counter to get away. So Vladin takes stock number two, but barely taking any damage. Yeah, barely, un almost unscathed at this point. Vladin just knows, even when he goes down, not going to be one to fall down an additional stock. Of course, that's what Lucina can do. If you're low percent, if you want to go for these trades, some of these counters, riskier options, you're Lucina, you can make it back, you can edge guard, you can do pretty much anything you want. Mm -hmm. And we saw right there, Zenyu tried to bait out the Dolphin Slash with that down throw shield, but unable to find it. Vladin did not fall for the bait at all. Look at Zenyu just moving back and forth. Knows he only has to go for the openings when he needs to. He's using these up airs, try to find a way in, and that sword just demands so much respect. Great job, but see, Vladin did a really good job there. He parried the fireball and did a retreating nair, knowing that Zenyu likes to capitalize on that and try to go aggressive, but this time Zenyu reads that attempt by playing defensive. It's all this this mind game that goes on between these players and 91% already. Yeah, Zenyu. I like the defensive adjustment from Zenyu. Just knows he has to play a bit more conservatively early in the game, and those will set up those windows for these bears um, later. And as good as that F-Tilt is on Lucina, it's not safe on shield. It definitely isn't, and that's going to be an easy punish for a player of this experience and caliber. Mm -hmm. Floods him, but no, doesn't get the down tilt to frame either of the forward throw. Yeah, it's not going to take it just yet. So Lucina forced in this corner, this very bad situation, uses the dash attack. That could have been it, but thankfully, Zenyu does get the back air. So Zenyu looking so good right now. But remember, Vladin stole that previous stock, was able to wall him out. So Zenyu really needs to really needs to run away with this percentage. Yeah, this is one roll read away from being even, and Vladin knows it. Goes for the counter off stage, and it's once again, that's happen. closed out so many stocks in this game just slaps the chair in frustration. He knows that was going to come from a mile away and still unable to do anything about it. It's just walling out, but here come the conversions. Dolphin Slash, no tech. That could have been a punishment happened, but here it comes. He uses the Nair, no fair this time. Yeah, unfortunately for Zenyu, no platforms present to extend anything from, but still looking good, uh, about 20% up. Jumps over the fireball, uses the flood to push him away, barely enough to get him away, and here comes the Nair but finally air dodges onto the ledge. He read the roll, but was able to get the shield in time, did not time the Dancing Blade correctly. And now Zenyu is down in percent, only slightly the down tilt. Uses the sliding delta to find his way, and Vladin playing so patient right now. Both players really playing really patient. They know they're both off of a conversion away from dying. Spot dodge, air dodges back, and now Zenyu is in a bit of a trouble spot. Trapped on the platform, but does make it back. He's he reverses the fireball. Mm -hmm. He's getting away with that. That backer is going to contest that fireball so easily. No counter coming in this time. That grab forward. This is looking so bad for Zenyu. He's forced to recover. Is he going to drop down counter? He is. Oh, he couldn't he get it, though. That's really bad for him, Vladin. He had it all, but unable to find it. That back air. That was the set all locked up, and all of a sudden, it wasn't in just an instant. Rolls back, and now this is where both players start to throw out panic options. Zenyu has him off stage. Facing what's backwards, wants the back air. What's the option? He's wants the down tilt, wants something. He's got to get something down. That back air's looking so good. It forces him off stage. What's the conversion? What can he possibly get in this situation? It's looking so tense. The air dodge comes in. The air dodge from Mario as well. The back throw, what's going to be do? Yeah. He goes. Oh, gets him is with that the nair. It? The that falling is. nair. Vladin, after such a hard fought battle, after so many options that were missed, after so many trades, so many options clanking with shields. Vladin will be moving on to winner's finals. So, so well done. And Ooh. as we saw, patience was the key for so many.